365 out of 365. We made it. There are so many words to describe 2020. And I'm not even exaggerating. But before we start, I need some music. So, one second. Hey Alexa, play Summer Walker. I don't know about you, but it's been a rough year for me. And emphasis, a lot of emphasis on rough. Um, between my brother dying and just a pandemic hitting in the middle of what's supposed to be the best time of my life. It's been rough, y'all. But I can't complain. Through everything that I've been through, I can't complain. I have a lot of New Year's resolutions for myself. But the main one would be to love myself. And you'd think like, oh, Deja, didn't you love yourself before? Of course I did. But this time, it's to love myself like never before. Like it's the last thing I'm going to do on this earth. I have an issue with not being 100% okay all the time. And you know what? That's okay. I never wanted to accept the fact that not being okay is okay. But it is. To be truthful, it is. It is totally fine to not be okay. Everyone is going to have their off days. But it's how can you turn that off day into a great day how can you turn that off day into a lesson that you can learn to apply to a different situation now mind you i'm not very good with change either and that's been very hard to accept but i've accepted it right here especially change that i just don't have time to plan for perfect example COVID-19. Another perfect example, my brother's death. No, murder. I couldn't plan ahead of time for that. And those two situations have really taught me that it's God's timing and not mine. It's his timing. It's not mine. And as painful as both of those events have been, not only towards me, not only for me, but for others as well, it just makes you wonder why me? And I asked myself that question for months and months and months. And I finally recognized that God gives the hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. And I want you to reflect on that for a second because I also had to keep in mind that I'm not the only one that's going through this. There are millions of billions of human beings going through the same thing and no not everyone has lost their brother no not everyone has lost their son but there is someone out there that has experienced the same thing and they've lived through it and they got through that tough time and i was able to as well it's possible You think at the time of the event, like your life's over, like you can't, like there's nothing to do, nothing to live for anymore, but that's not true. 
that's not true at all actually you have a lot to live for and god has opened my eyes to that this year especially after my brother he has opened my eyes to so much and to say the least i am so excited for what is to come and i'm so excited for you as well there is so much that you don't know coming your way so many positive things you just have to work towards it you have to live through it and when god is ready to give it to you he will and when he gives it to you you'll be prepared 2020 was rough for a lot of us if it was a great year for you i'm happy for you and if it wasn't i understand but i think the one thing that we all have in common is the want for change the want for a better year and of course things are out of our control sometimes but let me tell you solely it is up to you it is up to you every decision that you make will change your life it's just up to you how you want to change it Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop.